The contributions of defense scientists and engineers go beyond just sharpening the SAF's cutting edge. They also use their knowledge and expertise to tackle national challenges. DSO National Laboratories, or DSO, has a suite of capabilities to enhance Singapore's defence against chemical and biological threats. One such key capability is their Verification Laboratory. In the event of chemical attacks, units from the SAF's Chemical, Biological, Radiological and Explosives Defence Group will bring samples to the Verification Laboratory for testing. The laboratory is on standby whenever Singapore hosts large-scale events such as the National Day Parade. We are always ready. We are maintaining our operationally ready state to receive samples from them to perform off-site analysis. So the purpose of the off-site analysis is to identify and verify the presence or the absence of chemical agents uh, to provide timely information to the ops user to facilitate their decision for consequence management. We are dealing with highly toxic substances. A drop of it can actually kill you. Our experience in handling these agents and our knowledge in these agents will certainly help us to contribute towards the safety and security of the nation against these threats. As part of this network, we are benchmarked against other international labs for our capability to provide uh, identification of chemical warfare convention related chemicals, investigation or latch use. So these can these results can actually be uh, submitted to international court for as evidence. During an infectious disease outbreak, timely detection and identification of virus or bacteria is crucial for implementation of appropriate treatment, as well as preventive measures. DSO has two laboratories to detect and identify bio-threats with military applications. Our primary role is, of course, to develop diagnostics. Um, for SAF, so that if they are hit by a biowarfare agent, at least we can identify them and then we can provide information for SAF to make decisions on what countermeasures need to be implemented. And of course, we can also use the same um, technologies and methodologies for the rest of the community. Over the years, DSO defence researchers have been called upon to lend their expertise in times of national crisis. The fear has mounted so high that anybody with a fever would have been thought to be a SARS suspect. So you can imagine the flood of samples going to the hospital lab. So then DSO then took on the role to provide a rapid diagnosis so that on the same day, within eight hours, we were able to provide um, results to the clinicians and then they were able to quickly then um, process the status of the patient. So if the patients are still infected, they retain them or put them in the same cluster. If they are not, then or if they have already recovered, then they quickly exit the patient so that they can release the bed space and the wards for new patients. At that time, we had to screen like hundreds of samples every day, so there was a search. But I think all we thought of was to help as much as we can because we believe that we have a job to do that this job as a defence scientist is meaningful. 